Hey Tappers, so let's talk about a question that comes up all the time. So when you start having a lot of success with tapping, one of the very first questions that people ask is, how do I get someone else to tap? Now, there are kind of two answers to this, so let's address both. First, if you're just looking for resources and how to explain tapping or how to introduce tapping when you don't feel quite secure enough yourself to lead someone in it, we've got that for you. If you go to EFTUniverse.com, under the resources tab up across the top, there are a lot of pre-recorded sessions that Dawson has done with other people. Now, why this is an asset to you if you're unaware of it, there is a benefit that has been proven in a clinical setting, and it's called borrowing benefits. Now, borrowing benefits is when someone else is going through a tapping session and you tap along with them, but you're thinking about your own uh, correlation to the subject matter. Now, how does that need to correlate? Let's talk about that for a second. Let's say the person who's having the session is tapping on an unhappy experience they had with a scary movie. Well, let's say you like scary movies or you didn't feel the same way about that film um, or you're just having trouble relating to that topic completely. Um, you can just think of a situation where you felt scared or something where you were uncomfortable uh, in a similar manner with what was happening, but you didn't feel like you had the right um, or the social ability to step away without offending someone. Okay. So while they're tapping on a scary movie, you're thinking about your own circumstance and the questions that the person who's leading the session, you can apply them to yourself and therefore you get benefits by watching the shifts that they have, but also the shifts that you're having. Now you can tap along with them and not change anything. You'll still get some benefit just because of the way our brains work and a mechanism called mirror neurons. Uh, but the more specific you are to yourself, the better and better the outcome will be. So if you can um, translate what they're doing into something that's more specific for you, the better. Uh, so if you're wanting to introduce tapping to someone, you can simply go pick one of the sessions that Dawson has. And let me tell you, doing a session with Dawson is incredible. His technique is so practiced and smooth and gentle, but so deeply effective. Um, and it's also quite a treat that this uh, particular method of tapping works this way because getting a session with Dawson these days is nearly impossible. So being able to go and do a video and practically get a session with him is really, really cool. Now, if what you meant is that you're trying to convince someone to try tapping who isn't exactly willing, well, that's a little bit different. However, the answer is almost the same. Because when you tap by uh, example to someone, they are still getting that response in their in their mirror neurons in their mind. So let's say you're having a conversation with someone and you're feeling heightened and you can tell they're feeling heightened and it doesn't work for you to say, will you tap with me? You just start tapping and you can choose your hand. I just, I'm holding my phone. So I'm going to choose my face. And they may look at you like, what are you? What is that? You know, but if you're able to continue and you, and you don't say anything about it, you just tap and they'll notice that your breath rate is changing. You're relaxing. Maybe your shoulders drop and you take a deep breath. You're more clear minded. Your tone evens out. Guess what? They're going to mirror what's happening in your body. And eventually, hopefully they'll start to realize, wow, okay, this tapping really is having an effect on you. And you never know what they're trying behind a closed door if they still don't want to admit to you that they're doing it. In my own experience, what I've noticed is that if someone's hesitant, but I, I show them examples in person on myself without any pressure to have them do it with me, it takes between two and six times for me to do it in front of them for them to go, <sighs> okay, how do you do this thing that you're doing? I guess I'll might as well try it. Um, or I've also had some people that just, they never get to that point, but that doesn't change the fact that doing it in front of them still allows them to have that release. And it still makes that engagement and whatever's happening easier for you both. So just know that um, to release and relax about trying to control them trying it, you're still having a positive benefit, not only for yourself, but also for them just by tapping in their presence. I hope that's helpful to you. I'll talk to you soon.